One of the things we need to be aware of in the gardening world is plants that are purchased as ornamentals that decide they're way too happy living wherever we put them. This can happen fairly frequently depending on the part of the country you're in, but it can also take a, a, a long time for those plants to actually either escape or naturalize or become what we consider a threat to the native landscape. This is an example of one of those plants. This is Iris pseudocorus, or yellow flag iris. You'll notice that the foliage reminds you a little bit of the foliage of perhaps the Siberian iris, but it's also quite large. It's really a beautiful plant when it's in flower, a beautiful butter yellow, standards and falls, just like a traditional iris. The interesting thing about this one, however, is though it will establish itself along the edges of either a dry location, which is what this one is, or a wet environment. And that's where it becomes quite problematic. What happens is this iris can spread by rhizomes, as most iris do. This happens to be about 12 or 13 years old, and it has moved from three or four well-established but fairly well-behaved little clumps about 20 feet behind me in the matter of about a decade. That doesn't seem like a long time, but if you think about it, in an environment where it can spread rapidly both by rhizomes and by seed, which is the other issue with this particular iris, you get a clump that establishes itself 5, 10, 15 miles down a river, which is happening in the sand hills and in north uh, central Nebraska, and all of a sudden you have multiple locations where this beautiful plant is actually becoming very, very aggressive. As I said, this does produce a lot of seeds. These pods are not yet ripe, but once they are, they will split open, and then those seeds get distributed either by birds or by the wind or simply by dropping. And of course, again, if you're in a water environment, that water will carry them into locations along the shore where they will establish themselves. This iris is also capable of withstanding both sunny conditions and part to almost full shade. So it's one of those plants that in the gardening world, we like plants that are really sort of a set it, forget it, let's put it in a location where the conditions can change, but the plant still performs well. This is not something that we want to introduce in, into our landscapes. More importantly, getting it eradicated from those locations where we need to take care of it is really going to become the responsibility of private property owners as well as public landowners so that this does not become the next plant that we consider a significant invasive species.